I think I've probably got five key tips if you want to achieve a long-term goal or be successful at something. First of all, you've got to know what it is. You've got to have that goal in front of you. And you can have many, many of them. You can have long-term goals and you can have short-term goals as well. But you've got to know what it is. But just knowing what that goal is, isn't enough. You've got to know why you want to achieve that goal. It's no good saying, I want to be a partner of Deloitte. You've got to know why you want to be a partner of Deloitte because that will help you drive yourself to, to achieve it. So you've got to know why you want to do it. So my goal was to become a Paralympic champion. Why did I want to do that? Because I saw the accolades that the other Paralympic champions got. I look, used to look up to an athlete called Kona Omar and I knew how much I respected him because he was the world record holder and the Paralympic champion. And I wanted to be the athlete that the other athletes respected. So once you know what you want to do and, how, and why you want to do it, you've of course got to know how you're going to do it, how you're going to get there. You've got to plan that journey. Now, it doesn't mean that that journey is you're going to stick to that, that route. You may divert a little bit, but you've got to have it mapped out. As an athlete, we always work in four-year cycles. So after Sydney 2000, my coach said to me, right, Dan, what do you want to do in 2004? We already knew I was going to do the 800 metres, potentially. So I said, I want to be Paralympic champion. And he said, right, what will it take to do that? And I said, I think probably about 1 minute 54 seconds. And he said, OK, so in 2004, what do we need to do to make you a 154 runner? Once we'd mapped out 2004, he said, OK, so we're going to do that in 2004. What have we got to do in 2003? And he said, how are we going to do that? And we worked all the way back to present day. So you've got to plan that journey. And of course, once you've got the journey planned as well, you've got to surround yourself with the support network that you need. You can't do this on your own. You've got to make sure that the right people around you to help you in the training, help you in the preparation, and help get you where you want to get to. So make sure you've got a support network around you. And that can be business support, you know, people that are going to actually help you deliver. But it's also emotional support as well, friends and family, because sometimes goals, when you're trying to achieve them, it is a bit of a roller coaster. Once you've got that in place, of course, you can't just sit back and say, in four years' time, I want to be such and such. End of. You have to constantly evaluate yourself all the way through. In training, that's easy. Every day I went training, I tried to do it better than I did it before. It's not so easy in business because sometimes we just tend to get a head down and get on with what we're trying to do that day. So it's really important to keep evaluating what you're doing and keep looking at whether you are working your way towards that goal, whether you are on target. If you're ahead of target, speed things up. If you're behind, make some adjustments. That's my five key tips. Well, I say there's five key tips, really. Actually, there's six. There's a hidden one. There's a sixth one. And it's that drive, determination, the passion, the thing that comes from within. That's the most important one because life, business and sport is never easy. It's never plain sailing and there will be hardships and troubles along the way. And it's that that keeps you going. I had a long period of injury when I was actually unable to run and it was that drive that kept me going. It kept me getting through it all the way. And that's the thing that will make you successful. That's the thing that will make you get to your end goal. There's never been someone who's ultimately successful in life that's had an easy road. But how do you get through the tough times? Simple. Just remember what your goal was and remember why you wanted to achieve it.